hi guys in this tutorial i will show you how we can create post slider without any plugin i already have a tutorial about it using slick slider but elementor recently moved to sweeper slider so i will show you how we can achieve the post slider without any plugin using sweeper slider the slick slider method still works perfectly you just need to insert the slick slider js and css and it will work perfectly and i still think the slick slider method is way better than the sweeper slider so let's get started as you can see this is our post slider we also have the dot sign and the arrow as well so there is some issues or important thing we need to know before using sweeper slider the sweeper slider needs some special type of markup first of all we don't need this css or js because elementor already added that in elementor plugin so we don't need to insert this so that is a good point but the main thing is sweeper slider need a special type of HTML markup as you can see the sweeper slider must have a div called sweeper container inside that container we need a wrapper div called sweeper wrapper and inside that wrapper we will have our slide and each slide should name sweeper dash slide we can implement this with sweeper api but most of the time it doesn't work so we need to find another way so that it works perfectly and as we cannot edit or modify any element or widget we need to find a different way to insert this we will use the query to add this class to any particular div i will show you how you can do that and let's go to our blank page and insert a section uh, inside this section we will insert our posts so first of all we need to provide a class to our section you can name it whatever you want i am calling it post slide again you can call it whatever you want and inside the post slide we will insert our post post widget so let's insert our post widget in here and you can set the number of posts you want to show in per page and in my our case let's set it to six and let's save this and this is how it looks so if you inspect our post as you can see each post has a wrapper div called elementor posts container and that container is again inside of a div called elementor widget container so we will add class to elementor widget container this sweeper container and we will add sweeper wrapper class to our elementor posts container and finally we will add the slide uh, sweeper slide class to our elementor post div as you can see so let's get started let's insert this jquery i am using custom css and js plugin to insert css and js I already have a tutorial in my channel how we can use this plugin first of all let's add a document ready function so that everything loads after the document is ready let's target i'm just copy pasting my code in here so first of all let's just target the post slide elementor widget container and add class sweeper container so what we did this is the class of our section and under that section we are targeting elementor widget container div this one this widget container div and we are going to add class sweeper container to that okay that is very easy and simple and now we have added sweeper wrapper class to elementor posts container so the sweep elementor post container this container contains all the posts so we have added a class called sweeper uh, sweeper wrapper to that container and finally for each of our post elementor post we have added a class called sweeper slide that's perfect and if you saw the documentation of sweeper slide we also have need some html markup for our navigation like arrow previous or next button so how we can add this one so this is also easy as we have added sweeper container class to elementor widget container we will target that and append that html so jquery append we will use jquery append so let's copy this 
and as you can see we have the sweeper container this is the container we have in added class elementor wizard container and we are appending the html that is needed for our navigation so this is the html div sweeper pagination div sweeper button previous div sweeper button next we don't use sweeper scroll bar so if you want to use a scroll bar you can insert this as well so as you can see this is our div sweeper pagination div sweeper previous and next so what we did in here so first of all we targeted elementor widget container and add a class called sweeper container then we targeted elementor post container and added the class sweeper wrapper finally we targeted elementor post and added the class sweeper slide because we need all of this three class and finally we appended the necessary html that for pagination in here that's perfect so now let uh, let's check the documentation so we need to initialize the sweeper finally so we need to insert this one i have already coded a complete thing so i am just copy pasting in here so in here for sweeper new sweeper this will be our container the we have already inserted this i will provide this code in the description so don't worry you can just copy paste in here so we have created a new sweeper and inside this we will have all of our settings so a space between this will be 30 so each of this slider will have 30 pixel in between as so you can see 30 pixel in here so this is the gap in here so you can find the settings in sweeper api section everything is documented in here you also have sweeper also have some preview demo in here as you can see if you want to add a scroll bar in here this is the demo if you want to add vertical slide this will be in here everything is detailed in here you can just read the code and in customize as per you need then i have set auto play to true so that it auto plays automatically and in here this is for responsive purpose so as you can see this is a breakpoint that means we can control the number of slide as per screen size so in inside the breakpoint i have set 640 so if this screen size is less than or equal to 640 we you we want to show only one slide so if it is 760 pixel width we want to show one but if this screen size is bigger than or equal to 1024 we want to show three slide per view so you can control everything in here and finally we have some options of pagination you can just copy paste it from sweeper slide documentation as you can see everything is documented in here you can just copy it so let's save this and we also need a little bit of css so go to the css section and we just need these two lines sweeper wrapper so we want to give the sweeper wrapper to display flex and it should be important because in our post slide elementor automatically added display to grid so we don't need grid sweeper slide doesn't work with grid so we need to set to display flex and the flex wrapper should be inherent so this is the css code everything very simple so let's refresh and save check if it is working as you can see our slider is now working and it is automatically sliding as you can see you can also give a little bit of padding to this section section of the bottom so go to this section or this post and a little bit of bottom padding as you can see our dot is now looking way better so you can control everything with css or anything you can also set the number of post in here so if we go to this area and set the slide per view for 1024 if you set to 2 and let's save this and let's refresh as you can see now only two post is showing in view and it is sliding so you can control everything in here from here as you can see this api have everything in detail so this was the tutorial so hope you guys liked it and I'll see you in the next video.